my Mongan means community, the mob, you know, and uh, it's brought a whole community here today. A lot of people now, today, that have come here today, have, they've learned something, they've found, found a new beginning, and it's good, you know. When I was taught to carve, my um, uncle who taught me he said, what you need to do is you need to think about the ancestors, how they did it. They didn't have any modern tools. So when I carve, that's what I think. I want, a, I want that a whole idea of when you see those rocks, as if you were just walking through the bush and you come out and you've seen this rock with this carving in it and have that image in your head that this could be thousands of years old. So today the Wangaratta Citizen of the Year will be honoured. Um, their handprint has been carved into the rock and there'll be an unveiling of that handprint uh, during today's ceremony. The handprint will be unveiled by uh, lifting the gum leaves you know, out of the way and then gum leaves will be placed on top of the fire and create a smoke plume. When that smoke is created from those leaves, it sends a message. Um, and that's the concept behind our ceremony today. So that smoke will send a message to everyone that's here People that aren't here, people that have passed away, that you know, there's a handprint of a very special community person on this rock now forever. What we want to do is we want to develop relationships between the Aboriginal community here in Wangaratta and the broader Wangaratta community, and this is just one way we can do that. I mean, Susan Bromelow's family will always have a connection to us as an Aboriginal community and to this rock um, because of the process that we're going to go through today. Yeah, I suppose Mum was. Um forever involved in the local community. Um, as we can see here today from the amount of people, um, she was involved with so many different people in life and loved the local community. I don't think there was a um, committee that mum wasn't involved with in the northeast of Victoria. <laughs> I don't think there was, um, <laughs> mum was one of those people that um, definitely got along with everyone, but more so always wanted to help and always had her input into um, pretty much every matter possible in the northeast, <laughs> I would say. Today's event, um, you know, will bring the community together to um, learn more about Aboriginal culture, but also acknowledge uh, someone who's done some great community work um, and displays the qualities of an elder. Um, we knew that she was terminally ill, so we had a little mock ceremony last year while she was still with us, and we had the mayor here all dressed up with his stuff, and we had some photos with her with a hand on the rock and traced a hand out so that I, I had a copy of her hand. We were so lucky that we were able to come down with Chris in um, it was December and Mum was still able to walk around and you know she knew she was getting the award and how special this was going to be and to choose her place on the rock and you know, we were all there with her so it was yeah we were so lucky and so glad that we did it at that time. Proud, proud day because as I said to the family that nobody can take it from from them ever, that it's their mother's hand that they're unveiling today. She just absolutely loved these these types of events. And she would have loved this. She would have yeah. loved it. it. It was it was a really blessed ceremony, yeah. I reckon. And um, um, both Darren and Chris have been so good through the whole thing, yeah. explaining things and teaching us a little bit about Aboriginal heritage. And yeah, it was really good. Yeah. Yesterday was Sorry Day, um, and the start of Re Reconciliation Week. What better way to have a traditional Aboriginal theme opened up to allow anyone in the community to be a part of it? Now, if that's not going to break down barriers and break down racism, what will? Authorised by the Victorian Government, One Treasury Place, Melbourne.